How's it going, everyone? It's your girl, Rocket Gal. Welcome to another banner reaction. It is the spring banner this time, and the silhouettes look like it was Mirabilis and Linhard. So let's see if our guesses are correct. Let's get into it. All right, spring is generally not one of my favorite banners in the world, but let's see what they got. Oh, that is, that's Engage. That's Engage music, okay. All right, come on. Oh, it's Fram! In my oh, capacity as that's president so adorable. of the Divine Dragon Fan Club, I commend your splendid festival. They're just putting all the engaged characters into alt hell. Holy essay. Firestorm boost three, spurn four. Okay, this is a good unit in terms of fodder, that's for sure. And probably just a good unit in general. <laughs> Whoa, I like that hopping. That animation was cool. Uh, okay, nice healing. Oh, it's Sylvain. All right, cool. Well, that settles it. I really do look great in anything. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that, brother. For you, Linkster anything. Spear? That's an interesting name. Looks like he has good fodder, though. Oh, he's got no corner? Holy shit! That is so good. And the SD near trace 4. Okay, that would be pretty good for certain characters. Although I'm not sure, I think I'd rather just have it built in in the kit. <laughs> if I can help it. Lighten up. Wow, okay, alright. Um, okay, yep, yeah, that's Mirabilis. Is she the four-star unit? That's pretty good for a dancer to be a four-star unit. Five more minutes. Spring's dream. Okay. Please wake up. Please wake. Up. Can we read the kit, please? I gotcha. Uh, what is going on? Oh. Okay, that was really weird. Interesting in fodder, Mystic Boost 3. I'm not even sure if Mystic Boost 4 is even really worth it these days, to be honest. But it's nice that she's like free to play friendly ish. She's probably gonna be a pretty decent dancer, so that's that's a plus. Uh is that Chloe and wait, I think my screen froze. Hold on. Alright, sorry about that, folks. I don't know what was going on, but it looks like uh, Chloe and is that Cordelia? For the festival? First, I want to plan I, to make the most I can't. Of it. Yeah, that's Cordelia. That's Awakening. It's Kipu. Interesting. Ah, sunshine. Once upon a time. All right. Looks like her fodder is really good. Wait, what the fuck? Speed resistance crux. Looks like it has a shuriken as its icon. Interesting. Oh snap, that is some pretty cool animation. Alright, and what is there harmonized? I see resonance blade and insight and minus two cooldown. I mean the minus cool cooldown the minus racing. two cooldown in and of itself is pretty freaking good, so Alright, oh, hell yeah. Fireside, well, Kai. from the looks of it, she's gonna be a pretty decent Spring is nuke. Time for tea. I think so. Okay, I guess I guess Linhart is the Grail unit. Probably. Yeah. Okay, I see Linhart. Oh, he's a bow. Can't tell if he's infantry or if he's not infantry. Uh, okay, is there anything else to uh, look at? Nope. Uh, is it just one spark? Yep. Okay, cool. Let us... Oh my god, fuck what? off. Alright. Um... Okay. Let us take a... Oh my god, it's having trouble loading again. Okay, let's take a look at Fram. So she is an axe infantry unit. I guess it makes sense based on her skills. I like how her axe has stuff on it. I think that's pretty cute. Uh, yeah, well, I guess clan's not getting the the rural treatment here, but okay, that it is what it is, I suppose. So we got Hippity Hop Axe. 
All right, so accelerate sp uh, spe special trigger cooldown count minus one, grants everything plus four, and reduces damage from foes' attacks by X percent. Um, if HP is equal to, wait, what the fuck is going on? If unit's HP is equal to 100% at start of combat, X equals unit's HP value at start of combat. If not, X is equal to 50% of unit's HP value at start of combat, max of 60. What the fuck? Okay. Well, <laughs> but just, okay, for all intents and purposes, it's just gonna be 60, okay? That's, that's what I'm gonna take away from that. I'm pretty sure. It's just gonna be fucking 60. Um, okay, so 60 reduces, uh, so basically, DR piercing by 60%. Not too bad for an infantry unit. Um, to allies, wait. To allies within two spaces of unit during their combat. Oh my gosh, this is like, this is like spur DR piercing, kind of. And also, if the damage reduction effect of this skill is triggered, deal one damage to unit after combat. Uh, deals, okay, after combat. Okay, well. All right, and then at start of turn, if unit is within two spaces of an ally, restore seven HP to unit and allies within two spaces of unit. Okay, so she heals as well, so, you know, kind of like uh, replicating the fact that she's a healer. Uh, if unit is within three spaces of an ally, uh, grants plus Y to, uh, to everything, to unit, and Y equals number of allies within three spaces of unit times three plus five for a maximum of 14. Okay, cool. So that means you just need three allies to get the maximum. Uh, if unit is within three spaces of a dragon ally, then I'm at, oh yeah. Divine one, oh my God, it's a divine one. That, that makes sense. Uh, neutralize the effects that grant special uh, cooldown charge plus one to foe or inflict special cooldown charge minus X on unit. Oh my god, so tempo, and reduces damage from foe's first attack by- Oh my fucking god, we're adding Z into the mix of this shit? X, Y, Z, baby! What are they gonna do after Z? Are we gonna go straight to A? Are we gonna go into fucking, like, like, I don't know, Greek alphabets, like, alpha, beta, gamma, what, what is going on? Okay, anyways, uh, and reduces damage from foe's first attack by Z percent during combat, Z- I can't, I can't fucking do this, dude. Uh, Z equals unit HP at, uh, start of combat. Oh, is it just a fucking, it's the same thing. Okay, max of 60, and then if, um, and then first attack. Okay, yeah. Alright, alright, okay. I guess it makes sense. Um, alright, so she's definitely really supportive. Um, so that's pretty cool. And she also has some decent, um, combat on herself. Uh, she has full tempo in her weapon. That is extremely good. Uh, um, and yeah, just, uh, giving the DR piercing through, uh, through, uh, like, being next to them is kind of interesting. It's not a status effect, which has its pros and cons, of course, but, uh, this goes up to 60%, which is not too bad, not too shabby. So, yeah. Um, honestly, actually a pretty decent, uh, support unit. I'm impressed. I'm pretty impressed with that. Let's see what the else is her kit. Okay, she's got Firestorm Boost 3. Uh, I'm still not the biggest fan of these boost skills, but I guess getting the extra HP is good. I, I suppose, but, uh, I don't know. I'm not super high on it, but I guess it's fine. She has Spurn 4 and Infantry Pulse 4. Man, she is fantastic fodder. I'm glad that they're finally, like, giving spurn four to more units because there's no way i'm going to fodder off like a tamara or someone you know that's not going to happen and i don't have that many fjorms or anything so like I, I don't know it's just nice that they keep giving these out to more units so cool cool uh pretty good unit uh definitely gonna be a good support unit i think not like super insane but like pretty solid pretty solid and i think that's the most we can ask in this and at the very least, the animation is really cool. I like how she jumps. She triggers her special. That's cool. And then she's going to do the healing now. Yep. All right. Here's Sylvain. Spring Flingster. Okay. Uh, so, did we have a Lance So, No, I guess we haven't had a Lance Sylvain yet. Okay. So, yeah. So, this is a Lance 
uh, Cavalry Sylvain, uh, artist is Sue Kane Kumiko. Uh, name sounds really familiar, but on the top of my head, I don't know who that is. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look. All right, so he's got Flinkster Spear. Uh, accelerate special trigger cooldown count minus one. If a rally assist skill is used by unit, grant special. Uh, oh, special cooldown charge plus one per attack during combat uh, to unit for one turn and restores seven HP to unit. And afterwards, uh, once per turn, grants unit another action. Wait, is it just to Sylvain that gets the status effect? Yeah, because it didn't say to target or anything, so it's just for him. Okay, I guess that's not too bad, and restoring HP is pretty good. Wait, wait, let me, let's take a look at the animation. So, wait, did he ever do that anywhere? No, he didn't. Alright, well, that sucks. Uh, okay. At start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than equal to 20%, grants plus 5 to everything in the unit, neutralizes effects that prevent unit's follow-up attack, and reduces damage from foe's first attack by 40% during combat, and yada yada brave stuff. And also, if special cooldown charge plus 1 per attack during combat is, <laughs> is active on unit, neutralizes effects that inflicts special cooldown charge minus X on unit during combat, and unit attacks twice! Okay, alright. You know, I, the brave attacks are starting to get nerfed a little bit. They're not as good as they used to be, but they're still not that bad. So, uh, yeah, not not too shabby. I find that it's weird that he doesn't give his like the target of the assist skill any like buffs or anything. It's just like he gets it, which is kind of weird, I suppose. But uh, yeah, honestly, a pretty solid weapon for the most part is not insane or anything but it's definitely the best sylvain in the game now uh because the other two don't have preferred weapons so uh yeah he also has attack speed plus uh or rally attack speed plus that's pretty good um no quarter as amazing great fodder uh definitely definitely really awesome to get on him and you know with his kit he's gonna be able to like like two tap it so like he'll hit once and then he'll answer with a no quarter uh and also just the fact that it neutralizes uh defensive tempo that is really freaking good um so yeah and then he also has the sd near trace four uh i'm not sure if i'm a big fan of these sd uh skills or i mean these near trace four skills i mean they're fine i guess this one has a minimum of two so that's kind of good but at the same time it's like I'd rather just have the units that have fixed amounts, like, 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 uh, just two, or, like, how much they traveled, plus one. So, something like that, but this isn't too bad either. Like, I guess this is fine for certain characters that don't have it in their kit. Maybe, like, someone like, uh, ooh, I don't know. Maybe Fallen Krom or Brave Krom, I think they would really appreciate that. That's my guess. At least that's the first couple candidates that come up in my head. But yeah, it's cool that this, the best Sylvain in the game is this, uh, Spring Sylvain. So that's pretty cool. All right, now let's get on to one of the more interesting four-star specials we've had in a long time. And that's because she's a dancer. So this is Mirabilis. She is a blue tome flying uh, unit, uh, artist Sakura Shiori. Uh, pretty good art, pretty good stuff. Makes her look really young. She did not look this young in her original art. I don't remember, but, uh, it is what it is, and they just show her dancing there. Let's take a look at our kit. So she has a unique weapon. Wow. Okay, cool. So she has resistance plus three. All right. If penalty is active on foe within three rows or three columns centered on unit, inflicts minus five to attack, defense, and res, and special cooldown charge minus... One per attack on those foes during their combat. Wait, so this is for her. This is for Mirabilis' uh, combat, I guess. Why do they always want to keep giving dancers weapons? It it just doesn't work out, you know. But sure, okay. And as start of combat, if units HP or if foes HP is greater than or seventy five percent, or if penalty is active on foe, grants uh, plus five to attack, defense, and resistance to unit and reduces. Damage from foes attacks by 20% of units res during combat. Wow, flat damage reduction. Interesting. 20%. That's not that's not too shabby. 20%. That's the same amount as like Brave Dimitri's 
like flat damage reduction, except hits with the defense, of course. So that's not too bad. Makes her a bit bulky. I'm gonna assume. Wait, wait. We don't. I don't need to assume shit. I could take a look at her stat allocation. Nope, not her. Uh, wow, that's a lot of resistance. All right, so that's just 10 damage just gone just from there. I think there's some extra from the weapon. Um, I think. And then 36 defense, that's not too shabby, you know? I mean, okay, she's a bit slow, so that kind of sucks. But uh, apart from that, yeah, that's not too bad. All right, let's take a look at Spring's Dream. This is her new uh, preference dance skill. Grants another action to target. Uh, grants attack plus six and bonus doubler to target ally and allies within two spaces of target ally for one turn inflicts attack minus six and panic on nearest foes within five spaces of target ally and any foes within two spaces of those foes through their next action all right that's that's really solid it's not uh, uh what do the other ones get i know the uh, attuned fairies and the rearmed plumeria got better dances than this but it's solid for a four star unit i'll give it that and at the very least Dancers never get power creep for the most part. They're always going to be really useful in, in at least a couple of game modes. So even if you... It, I feel like if you invest into this Mirabilis, you're going to be okay. You're going to be just fine. So, uh, yeah. While she's not anywhere near as good as any of the other fairies that got upgrades last year, this is still a pretty decent four-star unit. Honestly, if you need a dancer or someone... Or, or a decent support unit, I would probably pick up this Mirabilis, honestly. Uh, in terms of her fodder, she's got Mystic Boost 3, which is not very good. Uh, and then Attack uh, attack Res Rain 3 is... I, I mean, I don't know. The rain skills are fine, but it's also not fine, I guess. Um, they, they are what they are. They're, they're, they're not that impressive in this day and age. Let's just say that. But but Mirabilis is impressive. Her fodder's not really great, but her she as a unit is really awesome. And I'm not even like a big Mirabilis fan, you know? I'm just uh I just think she's a good unit. Alright, this is Chloe and Cordelia. Uh, I guess they have something in common. They they both ride horses in, in the sky. Uh, the artist is Kipu, pretty awesome, pretty good art. Uh, Chloe is a red tome flyer, that's pretty interesting. All right, let's take a look at what she can do. It looks like she's jumping around, so that's pretty interesting. Man, it's great that they don't have the scrolling text anymore. I love it, it's perfect, uh, at least for this unit. Uh, so we've got Skyhopper Egg. Enables Kanto 1. Alright, that's already pretty decent. Accelerate special trigger coin account minus 1. A start of turn. If unit HP is greater than or equal to 20%, grants plus 6 to attack and speed. Charge. And if unit initiates combat, reduces damage from foe's first attack uh, during combat by 40% to unit uh, allies within two spaces of unit and allies in a support partner pair on player's turn for one turn. Wait, so 40% uh dr for one turn it's gonna be a status effect now damn charge though holy shit that's so good and this is just to and this is for uh everyone right um here to to unit to allies within yeah oh my god this is gonna be a great unit for like i think this is gonna be a really good unit in uh, ARD and AR offense, I think, just because charge, I still think is really freaking good. I know there's Murs, like, running around, but that shit doesn't trigger until after turn one, so you still have time to act, but, yeah, this is pretty, this is really solid. I'm pretty impressed with that so far already in terms of, of supporting, but let's see what else she's got. Uh, at start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than or equal to 20%, grants plus 5 to everything to unit. An additional bonus to unit's attack and speed equals to number of allies granted uh, charge uh, times 4 for a maximum of 8. Um, okay, wow, that's... Alright, sure. Extra 8 attack and speed, why not? Deals damage equal to 20% of unit's speed. Wow, 20%, okay, that's a decent amount of damage and reduces the percentage of foes non-special reduced damage by x percent skills by 50 percent during combat okay well you know i'm not as impressed by 
the latter half, but her supportive portion, which is getting a little bit DR, um, extra stats, but most importantly, a charge. That is really freaking good. I think charge is still absolutely busted, really good. I know there's Murs and Gatekeepers running around, but I feel like Gatekeepers, there's not that common, and, okay, fine, there are some Murs, I will admit that, but there are, there's counterplay to that, which is to initiate fast, you know, if, if she's on, like, a defense team, so just initiate on turn one, and there's no problems with charge, so, uh, honestly, not a bad unit, actually, I think I have, I think she could be a pretty good unit on certain, like, flyer teams, I think she would be pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with her. Actually, you could give this charge to anyone. You could give this to armor units. Wait, actually, that sounds kind of cool. Give, giving this to armor units would be pretty interesting. Yeah, then you can have, like, Edelgard. Like, any sort of armor Edelgard just running around without needing to have the uh, assault troop. That's actually pretty good, I think. Uh, she also got remote sparrow. Uh, you know, it's not bad. It gives her extra DR, so... You know, can't complain. Occultist Strike is actually fantastic. Um, coupling this with uh, Flared Sparrow to get the Flared Strike combo is very, very strong. 14 damage right off the bat is really good, but too bad she doesn't have Flared Sparrow. But she does have Speed Resistance Crux. Now, let's see what this is. The icon looks kind of blurry, but let's see. Uh, inflict Speed and Resistance minus 4 on foes within 3 rows or 3 columns. Uh, centered on unit. Oh, wow. Okay, so definitely a larger range for sure. And those foes suffer guaranteed follow-up attacks. Wait, what? And those foes suffer guaranteed follow-up attacks during combat? <laughs> I like how they how they word it like that. You should just say, like, your units initiating on them get a guaranteed follow-up attack during combat. I don't know. I like how <laughs> they suffer a guaranteed follow-up attack. <laughs> I, I don't know, that, that sounds really silly, but also it's kind of funny. Um, yeah, that's that's really freaking good. Actually, that's a lot better than, like, the hold skills. Those skills are kind of garbo, in my opinion. Uh, this crux skill is pretty solid. Pretty solid. I mean, you could probably replace other stuff for her. I think there might be some... I mean, you know, you can't go wrong with guidance or flyer guidance or whatever... But if you don't have that, I guess this is also a pretty decent supportive option. You know, it feels like a lot of the units on this banner are very supportive. Um, except for maybe Sylvain, who um, definitely is very offensive. But everyone else is pretty supportive for the most part. And they say support effects definitely age the best for the most part. Or at the very least, they don't get power crypt as quickly um, as like offensive units. So I feel like... This skill is pretty solid, pretty good. Not a bad option. So, yeah, pretty impressed with this unit, actually. Actually, it would be really great to have her on defense teams. Because Hinoka can only be used in certain seasons, and she only does it for flyers. Imagine if I did this with infantry units and stuff, giving them charge. That'd be pretty good. Uh, okay, let's take a look at what her harmonized skill is. So, grant special cooldown count minus two to unit and allies from the same title as unit. Uh, grant resident blades and incite to unit and allies from the same title as unit. Okay, that's that's pretty good. That's actually really good. Uh, it's not repeatable, which I guess because of the cooldown count minus two thing, that's like super broken. So, th they're not going to make that repeatable, but yeah, I feel like... That's a really good skill for, like, summoner duels. Just pre-charging a bunch of skills. Maybe, like, some miracles or whatever. That is really, really good. Yeah, honestly, this harmonized skill is gonna be... Is, I think it's gonna be really good. The only problem is, is that it's only usable once. Which could be an issue. But I think in summoner duels, I think it's fine. Yeah, that is... That's pretty insane. This unit just seems really good. I mean, she doesn't seem like super meta, like crazy, not like a Gren, but she seems really solid. And it's cool to get more engaged units, you know? So I'm cool with that. And then uh, our Grail unit seemed to be Linhard, so it looks like we were correct, or at least I was correct with my guesses for the silhouettes, uh, because 
I'm a genius. I'm, I'm a certified genius. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, that about covers this uh, banner reaction. Let me know how you feel about this year's summer banner. Um, I guess we are missing someone from Arcanea. We, we've had someone from Macedon for the last couple of years, and this year we haven't had anyone. No Lena or anyone. So we kind of broke the streak with uh, Michaelis, but yeah, that's... It is what it is. We've moved on from Arcanea and we're on to Elios, I suppose. So yeah, uh, let me know how you feel about this banner in the comments below. Uh, in any case, I hope you all enjoyed this uh, banner reaction to the 2024 spring banner. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.